Two of the following videos are true while the other one is trash. Can you spot the fake? Now it's time for the final round, round three. If you take a AA battery, you can touch the negative end of the battery to the touchscreen on your phone and it works, just like your finger or a stylus. If you place a Cheerio in a shot glass of water that isn't completely full, the Cheerio sticks to the sides of the shot glass. But if you add some water until the shot glass is completely full and almost spilling out, the Cheerio will move off the wall and end up right in the center every time. If you ignite a lighter at the opening of an empty plastic bottle, the flame propagates as it consumes the trapped oxygen and lurches the bottle forward, just like a mini rocket. You've seen all three videos now, pause to vote in the comments which one you thought was fake. You actually can use a battery like a stylus, although it isn't exactly comfortable and you could scratch the screen. But this just works because the ends are a conductive metal, not because it's a battery in particular. So even aluminum foil would work, while these cotton socks wouldn't. To make gloves that work with touchscreens, conductive material is often added to the tips. Filling up a skinny glass of water does cause floating objects to move to the center. To better see why, let's look at the classic surface tension experiment of adding drops of water to coins. You can fit a surprising amount of water on the coin without spilling, and you can really see the curve of the water due to surface tension. The highest point of water is in the center, so when a small floating piece is added, it wants to float to the highest point. Adding some food dye to the water to help you see it better, and even if I try to move the speck to the outside, it returns immediately to the center. The same concept applies to the shot glass, but it's less pronounced. I also tried with the larger diameter glass and a floating golf tee, and it still seemed to work pretty well, although this time it took several minutes for the tee to settle toward the center. It turns out lighting a lighter at the opening of an empty water bottle won't cause this giant flame to happen. I actually just poured a few drops of isopropyl alcohol inside the water bottle, swirled it around a bit, and it was this flammable and volatile substance that actually caused the water bottle to move forward. 